What is good, Up Nation? It's Stock J back with another video. And this one, I want to talk about what's going on with the overall market, why we saw the market slow it down today after we got some big news, and also what's going on with AMC stock based off the technicals and any other pieces of news coming out. I'm going to break down why tomorrow is going to be a huge day for the entire market, including AMC stock, and talk about what on earth is going on. But before I break anything down with all this information, let me just mention a couple of things. I am firstly not a financial planner, so make sure you take none of this as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Mumu link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Mumu, the link down below and deposit $100 into the account, you are guaranteed five free stocks with a $50 cash reward. Our friends in just a couple of weeks, so check it out before they run out. With that out of the way, let's get on with the video. All right, so AMC stock is down 2.64% as of right now. And the question is, how on earth will AMC move going forward? And right now, AMC is continuing to just trade sideways as we're waiting for some like new developments from the courts. And so far, we're not really getting anything too big. I've been looking through it. I'm still not seeing anything too significant. And we're still waiting for what Stern ends up saying and also what happens with AMC. Now, right here, you could see there was this news that came out right here that AMC had the best week of all time, thanks to Barbenheimer. This is still making the headlines, but this, once again, does not account for inflation but still it was a great week for amc nonetheless but the question that's coming out is what about amc's court case we're still waiting for zern to give us more updates i think later on over the next few days she should mention something and amc is still continuing to fight it out as they're revising the settlement but until then amc is going to be more dictated by the overall market there was news that came out that Fitch has basically downgraded the U.S. ratings, meaning we used to have a triple A rating. Now it's going to be a double A plus. And what that means is a long time ago, if individuals wanted to like invest in the U.S., invest in our different like governmental bonds and et cetera, they would have like more security knowing that the U.S. has a high rating, which is kind of like a credit score. And now it's kind of like the U.S.'s credit score went down in a way. That's like one of the ways you can look at it. As that happened, this is now de-incentivizing investments to some degree, but the rating is still relatively strong. So with that happening right now, this is causing the market to sell off a little bit. And now we still have another big thing coming out for tomorrow. For tomorrow, in terms of data, we have basically, uh, I think this is for Thursday, August 3rd, we have the PMI report coming out and then initial jobless claims for the market opens. So more jobs numbers, which are going to be followed by Friday, which has even more jobs data. But on top of that, the bigger thing for tomorrow is not just the numbers, but also the earnings coming out. We have Amazon, Apple and Coinbase. Apple is going to be the big one to be watching for. If Apple sinks after earnings, the market's going to sink. If Apple runs after earnings, the market could run as well. But right now, it's not looking that great. And I'm just going to be very careful uh, looking at Apple's earnings. As far as AMC goes, uh, the cost to borrow is 170%. There's not really anything else going on from there. But looking at some data, Wedbush is saying AMC will underperform compared to the markets, and we're continuing to see a relatively low amount of short sales. So uh, that's just based off the reported data. What do I see for tomorrow? Tomorrow, it's going to be heavily dictated by the market unless we get some news. AMC could try to pop for like 4.9 and come right back down and just trade sideways between 4.9 and 4.68 for the time being. But what is a little concerning is SPY broke below 452, which is critical support, and the market is starting to downtrend a bit. On the four hour time frame, you can see a clear head and shoulders like pattern that is developing and starting to play out. And we have this gap down here at 446 I'm going to be watching for on SPY. The market could hold up for tomorrow approaching Apple's earnings. Then after that, we're going to see which way it takes us. That's going to be very impactful and make sure you're ready for that. Then we have unemployment numbers coming out for Friday as well. It's going to be very important for Tesla. Tesla broke temporarily below the 200 EMA. It's actually below it right now, and that's a bearish signal. If it breaks below 250, Tesla's going to likely get dragged down as well into the 240s very soon. Now, tomorrow it may hold up above 250, but later on down the line, there's a good chance of that happening. Finally, for the QQQ, uh, if this thing continues to break down, we actually filled our gap around the 373 area. But if we keep dropping below this, I'm going to be watching 370 and 368 and our 200 EMA as a target. You're going to be watching these levels very carefully now if the market tries to like balance a little bit you're going to be watching 376 and 378 as our resistance levels but for now it's looking relatively weak all right so we're going to wait for apple's earnings that's going to be the biggest thing for tomorrow after the market closes and that will affect amc if the whole market tanks hard after apple's earnings amc could get dragged down to the lower fours 4.5 or lower could becomes a possibility if not amc is going to range trade between 4.6 and 4.9 for a little bit longer and we will see what happens with the courts as we're still waiting for some big uh, events and announcements all right so that's what i have for this video i want to keep this one kind of simple have an absolutely spectacular day everyone i appreciate all of you amc to the moon and peace out